Hello, beautiful. My name is Sharon Kelly, and welcome to my channel, Super Aging. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you. Today, we're doing an over 50s Pilates workout for us women over 50, and in my case, over 60. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's roll down onto our backs. Press your feet gently into the floor. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. We're going to start with six crunches. Bring your hands behind your head. Breathe in as you breathe out. Go up into your crunch. Pause at the top. Let your head rest in your hands. Roll down. Let's do five. Pause. Engage your abs and rolling down. Four. Three. Two to go. Last one. Roll down. This time we're going back into crunches, but we're going to straighten our legs. So with the legs, we want to feel that they're stretched and heavy on the mat. Bring your hands back behind your head. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Rolling up. Push the soles of your feet away. Roll down, layering the upper spine. Let's do five. Keeping your body weight centered. Four. Three. Feeling the abdominals working. Two to go. last one. Great work. Hold it and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Just let your head go from side to side. If you're feeling any undue stress in your lower back, just keep your knees bent. So we're adding on. This time as we come up, we're going to bring the left knee to the chest and keep the right leg lengthened and stretched. Breathe in to prepare. As we breathe out, we roll up. Knee to chest, pause at the top. Stretch the left leg away as you come down. Let's do five. As you roll up, your head, your hands are supporting your head. Don't pull your head up. Did that make sense? Three more. Push the leg away. Feel the leg stretch. Two. One more. And coming down. Let's go straight into the right side here. Left leg is lengthened. Body weight is centered. Breathe in to prepare as we breathe out. Right knee comes to the chest. Stretch the leg as we lower. Five. You have three more. Two. The last one. Stretch the leg and lower. Let's just bring our knees into our chest and let the head go from side to side as well. Always find that working crunches in straight legs there is a tendency to try and pull on your head, pull yourself up. So just be aware of that and don't do it. Bring your legs down. We're going back to the left side. We're adding a rotation. Breathe in to prepare as we breathe out. Left knee comes to the chest. Bring the right shoulder to the knee. Come back to centre. Press, the, Push the leg away as you lower. Show me five. Right leg is stretched and active. Four to go. Three. 
little bit more work with that little pause at the top, isn't there? Stretch the leg away. Keep the right leg active. Last one. Come back to centre. Push the leg away and come down. Let's go into a stretch. Let knees to chest. Let your head go from side to side. And let's repeat that work on the other side. Breathing in to prepare as we breathe out. We bring the right leg to our chest. We bring the left shoulder to the right leg. Come back to centre. Lengthen the leg and lower. Five. Four. Three. Last two. You can stay here. You keep, going. keep moving. Keep, keep going. Last one. Hold it. Rotate through the waist. Say hello to me. Come back to centre. Stretch the leg and lower. Good work. Bring both knees into the chest. Let your head go from side to side. We're going to roll ourselves up and do some roll. Roll ups. Bring your hands out in front, drop the shoulders. Sit up nice and tall to start. And let's add a bit more of a challenge and just lift the arms up a little bit higher. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we slowly roll down, pressing both feet evenly into the floor. Control the descent. Bring your arms overhead. Breathe in. Breathing out. Five more. Have you got this? Yes, you have. Four more. Go into your C curve. Slowly down. Lift the arms a little bit higher. Brings more intensity into the work. Three to go. You've got this, two more. Let's do it. Slow the descent. Breathing in, breathing out. One more. And come back up to your seated position. Good work. We're going to do some seated pretzel. The first part of this, I'll just show you an option you can do if you find your hips are a little bit tight today. What I would like you to do is to come down onto your side. Bring your knee in line with your hip. Bring your bottom knee in line with your hip. In this position, I want you to really use your obliques and lift up. Keep the shoulders stacked. Keep the hips stacked. Don't let it roll back. So from the glute, we're going to squeeze the glute and just lift the knee. As you squeeze the glute to lift the knee, you want to feel your abdominals engage. Show me 10. 9. Press this leg into the floor. 8. 7. Lift up in your waist. 6. Five, good work. Four, three, two, and last one. Now you can stay there. I'm actually going to go to the side so you can see what I'm doing, but I want you to stay facing the front. All you're going to do is bring this knee in front of your hip and this knee in front of your hip in a seated position. I'm going to face this way so you can see what I'm doing for my leg. Try and stay up as tall as you can. You will find you might lean over. That's fine. So are you ready? Same exercise. Squeeze the glute. Lift the leg. Draw the navel to the spine. 
Show me 10. Put it on the floor. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going into a change here. We're going to lift the lower leg up and try and get it par parallel to the ceiling. And I find I have to lean over a little bit more here, so do what you need to do. Breathe in to prepare. Press this leg down. Breathe out. Lift up. You've got 10, 9, 8. Squeeze the glute to lift the leg. Try and keep this leg pressing down. 5, 4. Good work. Keep going. 3, 2, 1. Well done. This time we're either going to slide the leg back or we're going to keep it off the floor and glide it back, slide it back. Breathe in to prepare. Now remember the work comes from your glute. Lift, flex the ankle, toes to your knee. Push all the way back, come forward a tiny bit. That's it. Ten, tiny ones. Nine, eight, seven. Squeeze the glute. Five, abdominals are working. Three, two, one. We're going to do exactly, stay where you are. All I want you to do is come back down onto your side, lengthen the leg, lift the waist, forearm presses down from the glute. We're just lifting up. Squeeze, lengthen, push the foot away, lower. Lift up, lengthen the leg, feel the glute engage, lower. Let's do 10, 9, 8. Are you feeling this? 7. Six, good work. Five, four, three, two more. And the last one. Excellent. Let's stretch that side. Bring the leg around. All I want you to do is try and get both hip bones level to the floor. Sometimes if you try it, you might need to straighten this leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go into your rotation. Well done. Now, the good thing is we get to do that on the other side. Lucky we've got two legs. So I'm going to start facing you, then I'm going to turn. Please don't, you don't have to turn. Bring your knees and legs into a 90 degree angle. Come down on your forearm. Lift the waist. So we're just working, lifting the knee or using our glutes. Squeeze the glute, lift the knee. Good work. Feel the abdominals tighten. Lift up out of your waist. Nine. Eight. Shoulders are stacked. Seven. Once squeeze the glute, tighten it. Six. As you squeeze, feel the tummy tighten as well. Four more. Three. Two. Nice work. One. Well done. You're going to stay here. I'm just going to rotate here so you can see what I'm doing. You've got a 90 degree angle from your knees, your legs. We're going to start with lifting the knee from squeezing the glute. And some people might need to bring their knee up. That's fine. You do what feels good for you today. Squeeze, lift. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, feel the abs engage, 5, 4, 3, 2, this leg is pressing down, 1, good work. If you need to come down a bit lower to the side, please do. This time we're lifting the lower leg parallel to the ceiling. Are you ready? Squeeze the glute, lift up. You've got 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two more. The last one. Either slide the leg on the floor or lift it up and push back. So wherever you are, you lift up, go to your go as far back as you can. Tiny presses back. Feeling the glute. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
coming onto your side. So you're going to stay where you are. You're just going to come down onto your forearm. Keep the hips stacked or the top hip a little bit over the bottom hip. Lift up out of your waist. Press the forearm down. Lengthen your leg. Lift it. Stretch the leg. Feel the glute engage lower. You've got 11 more. 10. 9. 8. Feel the waist. Feel the waist is lifted. Five more. Four. Good work, guys. Three. Two. One. Well done. Let's stretch that side. Short and sweet, I think, today. How are you feeling? Tight hips? Breathe in. As you breathe out, go into your rotation. We're going to finish just with a little bit of upper body work. And the first one is, so we're going to sit up. I'm just going to go to the side. You can do whatever you want with your legs here. I want you to push your arms back behind you. Little bend, lengthen the arms. Little bend, lengthen. Try and keep your back really tall. What I'm hoping you're feeling here is the top of your arms, your triceps. Let's do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can stay doing that, especially if you have irritation in your wrists. Otherwise, I want you to come onto your palms of your hands, lift the chest, and all we're doing is pretty much the same thing. We're bending the elbows, stretching the arms, bend, stretch, feeling the triceps engage. So as we stretch the arms, a little pause. Little bend to the elbows. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's do really, really tiny ones. Tiny ones. You can hardly see my arm move, but I'm a little bend to the elbow and stretch. Five, four, three, two. One, good work. Scoot yourself back. We're going to finish with our favourite. Let me know if it is your favourite. Only six, so do it with me. Coming into a plank position with your palms wider than your um, torso out to the side. It's a push-up position because we're doing a negative push-up. Lengthen your body. Come down as slow as you can. Abdominals are engaged, slow, press the floor away, fight for it. You want to get down to the floor, nice and slow. Push yourself back, come up. Let's do five. Now the idea, guys, is to go slow. You might need to put your knees down here, just fight for that last little bit. Are you having fun? Four more. I'm going to do the full one again. Slowly down from the top of your head to your heels is one long line. Slower, slower, tummy's tight. Three more. Oh, this is so much fun, isn't it? Are you enjoying yourself here? Can you get down slower than me? I'm sure you can. You've got two more. I'm going to have to modify the last two. Coming down, so I'm going down as low as I can. I'm going to put my knees on the floor and I'm going down slow, feeling the work. Last one. Let's do it together. Nice long body, feeling the chest engage. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> wow, come back into a child's pose. I don't know what to say. Let's do a couple of cat cows here. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, push the floor away. Two more. And last one. Well done, guys. That was excellent work. How are you feeling? I felt every part of that. 
Okay, let's just let our hips go. Just let them go from side to side today. Is that good? Bring the soles of your feet together. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. As you breathe out, lower the chest towards the floor. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Push the tailbone back behind you. Breathe out, come a little bit lower towards the floor. Round your spine, coming up. Just go into a seated position. We're just going to stretch out the upper body. <laughs> Bring the arm across, drop the shoulder. Reach the fingers away. Let's do that on the other side. Come back to your first side. You can either stay here with a bent elbow or you can bring the arm to the back of your head. Breathe in, breathing out. Swap arms. So start with a bent elbow. If you've got shoulder injuries, that's where you need to be. Otherwise, go into the full tricep stretch. Bring your arms down. Let's take three deep breaths together. Breathing in and out, two more, feeling the chest and the shoulders open up. Last one, you guys are awesome, well done, good work. Let me know how you went, I know that hip work is a little bit more intense, it's very intense, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon, bye, and remember, thumbs up.